Okay, so variables. Variables are very simple to understand. Think about at it. Think about it this way: a hat. Something simple doesn't have any meaning to it at the moment, but boom, all of a sudden, it has a name, and boom, put that to the side. Get another hat. Give it a number. Boom, that's a variable. Just assigning something with other things. In this case, like I said, this hat's been assigned with a string or a name, Veracruz Azules. That easy. So how would I write that out? I'd say string, I mean, my apologies. I'd say hat name, boom, double quotations. Whenever you're writing strings, always use double quotations because the computer is very dumb. It will not know what to do if you don't put double quotations for strings. It will just read it, but it won't do anything. So you have to put double quotations. And for the team name, Veracruz. I spelled that wrong. Veracruz. That simple. It's a string. However, to tell the computer it is a string, you would have to do this. STR, simple for string. And then put... Oh, parentheses around it what you're basically doing taking off your hat giving it a variable a name in this case Veracruz putting it back on closing it off you're not touching anymore you assigned it a name it's over for the for the variable not for you um but then you would say how like for the, my instance how many hats do you have I have nine hats maybe more I'm probably missing a few but that many so I'd say my integer or my number whole number of hats would be number of hats equal nine and same thing we did with the string in order to tell the computer that it is a different variable you would go in front of it say int and then close it off you're closing off that hat once more and leaving it to be all done not having to worry about anything else manipulating it or changing it so as we keep going, like I said, integers, let me see, integers equals whole number. Let me see, close a bit off, whole number. Integers cannot have decimals. The computers are very dumb and very slow so for that reason integers can only be whole numbers but when we get an instance of having decimals in our case for my case the amount of hats I bought times how much they cost me I would say cost of, of hats Let's see, yep. of hats would equal 278 and 91 cents so like I said integers can only be whole numbers so we would call this either a double or a float you might be confused you're like why float why double basically just saying they're decimals that's that's that simple you don't have to worry about anything else just say just know that floats and doubles are decimals so I would say in the front again float boom capsulate it and boom Got that, got, got that hat, and boom, you're done with it, you assigned it, all good. Now, when we get into true or false statements, or booleans, as we like to call them, they're basically, like I said, true or false statements. Am I wearing a hat right now? Yes, so it's true. Did I wear a hat yesterday? No, so that was false. So I would just write, wearing hat, and I would assign that to true right now, because I am wearing a hat. It's that simple. It has to be true or false. It can't be yes or no. But you just say, just like I said, it's a Boolean, as simple as it is, true or false. Wearing a hat, am I wearing a hat now? No, so it's false, boom, that easy. And you would do the same thing as the other ones. If you go in front, say bool, and encapsulate it. You can do this now, or you can do this later on in the code. Uh, later when we get to printing and actually seeing these on a different screen after you run your code uh, we're gonna see how we can set it up different ways so that you can get a preferred way 
I just like it this way, just telling the computer right away, boom, this is what everything is. And you don't have to worry about it. One thing to note though, whenever you write true or false, it has to always start with a capital T or F and everything else lowercase. Because if you don't and you do that, see how it doesn't light up? I like colors, but it's all white. So it's not working. It's basically saying that it's not reading it the way it's supposed to. So whenever it's true, capital T, whenever it's, let's say false, capital F, everything else lowercase. And you're always gonna see it light up in colors, which is kind of a way of telling you, all right, you wrote it the right way. One more thing to notice, when I'm writing my variables, I always make sure that it's either, I separate the names with the capital letter at the beginning and then the other name, or you can also do this, where you put an underscore, just to say the name of your variable. One thing you can do, however, can't do, however, is put a space. Like I said, computer, really dumb. You're the smart one. You're telling it what to do. So when it reads this, it doesn't know what to read since it has a space. This is called white space. And for these purposes, you cannot have any white space when naming a variable. So you would just do, like I said, this or point underscore. Uh, I like just starting off with a capital letter. To me, it makes sense. It's easier to read probably with the underscore, but in the end, it's gonna be up to you on how you wanna perform your code. But yeah, variables, very simple. Like I said, think about them like hats, and that's, that's all you need to know.